In today's video, I'm going to talk about everything that you need to know before you plan your visit to Azerbaijan. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Just Go with Amreen. So I have been to Azerbaijan a few times now but my very first video or playlist series of Azerbaijan and everything that you need to know before you visit Azerbaijan <laughs> was launched in 2019 and this is 2024 so I decided why not tell you a little more updated 2.0 version if you are planning your visit to Azerbaijan in 2024 these are the things that you need to keep in mind so without further ado let's dive right into it number one what is the best time to visit Azerbaijan I think Azerbaijan is one of those countries where you can visit it any time of the year if you want snow then obviously December or January February are the heaviest snowfall months the snow starts to dissipate around end of March so spring starts about April it rains end of April mid up until like mid of May but it's not like heavy rains or anything you can still come here and still enjoy your time out then the summer begins now I obviously do not recommend coming here in July and August because it gets really really hot but apart from that every any other month is a great month to visit Azerbaijan point number two if you are planning to get here and do things on your own there's a fair bit you can do around Baku within Baku and you will need a cap for that and the app that you need to download is called Yango so I tried to get on to Yandex Go but that doesn't work here because Yandex Go works a lot in Central Asia so I tried that here but it doesn't work another app that does work here is called Bold. I haven't tried that personally but you could probably give it a go. The one I have used is Yango. Number three, if you're planning to rent a car there are so many places that you can do that from. I do use an app called rentalcars.com but if you find that too pricey you can also there are several local rent a car places in Baku that you can rent your car from. I personally used a place called Car Rent Baku. I will leave the link to that in the description box below in case you are interested in renting a car. I do not recommend renting a car during winter months because you don't know how the weather changes and the snow and unless you are used to driving around in snow I don't recommend that. Apart from that it's a pretty self-driving road tripping kind of a country. A couple of things you need to keep in mind when you're renting a car is that stick to the speed limit. They don't have exact a buffer I know in UAE when it says 80 it means 100 like you can drive up to 100 and then you will get fined but that's not the case in Azerbaijan there are cops like literally everywhere not just the cameras are everywhere but the cops are also everywhere so be mindful of that a very important thing I need to tell you about driving is please do not do not drive in Baku absolutely do not even think about it the traffic here is crazy the parking is impossible to find and you will be stuck in traffic forever basically you will never reach anywhere if you plan to drive in Baku it's so much easier to just get cabs or better yet walk it out you will reach your destination much quicker common question how many days are enough to visit Azerbaijan okay you could come here for four days, you could come here for a week. It really depends how much time you want to chill. Baku is a vibe, okay? It has Europe, it has Asia, it has shopping, it, it has the sea, it has history, it has everything. It has so much going on actually. The city of Baku is just so vibrant. You will spend like four days here and still feel like it was not enough. So it really depends what you're after. There are lots of things to do outside of the capital city. I urge you to go to the mountains. They are gorgeous. I have been to Guba, I've been to Shadag, I've been to Kabala, I've been to Ismaili. Take a cabin, stay in the mountains, go to a resort, stay over there. It's so beautiful and it's so peaceful. And if you come at the time like I've come, like May, it's so green. And if you come here in like Jan, it's so white. So I would say a week is good for Azerbaijan if you want to do the mountains as well as Baku and you want to have sufficient time to just chill to relax I think a week is great lots of questions about Guba or Shadag versus Gabala what should we see where should we go this is how it is it's like two legs it's like a Y okay and one cannot go to the other well you can but it's just like a big loop so you practically come back to Baku and then go to the other so you can go to Gabala Ismaili and all of that where there's Shamaki Alpaka fam uh, all of that 
or you can go to Guba. Guba you can also do as a day trip. It's really tiny, it's really small. There's not much to see. There's just Guba and Shadag and that's pretty much it. All right. But there's a lot more to see in the other leg, which is like Gabala, Ismaili, there's Shemakhi and there's Sheki if you go further up. So there is a lot. Eventually they're going to connect these two. I don't know when that's going to happen, but right now if you want to do everything, it it can get very hectic because just to give you some reference from Guba to Shamaki or Gabala it's like a 5 hour journey you'll be sitting in your car a lot i do not recommend going to guba and shadag in may i recommend them for winter time because it's a snow it's a ski destination gabala is great for both how expensive or cheap azerbaijan is now it really depends it's a very relative question like it depends what you're comparing it to of course if you're comparing it to like europe are you comparing it to georgia armenia okay so if you're comparing it to georgia armenia it is pricier if you're comparing it to europe any part of europe it is of course far more affordable consider you will spend 40 to 50 manat per day which is equivalent to almost 100 dirhams per day comfortably you want to go out you want to enjoy the nightlife you want to go drinking dancing eating enjoying a uh, little venice taking a ride um, you know in the funicular going up to the highland park flame towers old city having azeri tea you know you want to like have a good time in baku consider 40 to 50 manat per day two things baku is great dynamic versatile has a lot going on like i already mentioned in this video but people come to baku for two these for two of these main things that baku is famous for and one of them is shopping and the second one is nightlife vibrant nightlife live music everywhere you have coffee and jazz you have beer and jazz you have wine and jazz like you know, it's just amazing great place okay so if you want to enjoy live music nightlife clubbing dancing Baku is just going to blow your mind away. You know, I mean like weekends are very happening here. Weekdays are no less to be honest. Okay? And in terms of shopping, there is a whole street filled with brands of all kinds. Uh local brands, international brands, there's Zara here, there's LCY Kiki, there is um I mean there's a lot. <laughs> just bring an empty suitcase and a truckload of money and go shopping. Food. I should have mentioned this early on, but very very important food in azerbaijan is very meat oriented in fact you will still find veg options in local cuisine in its neighbors like georgia and stuff but you will not find that over here uh, very limited veg options but very big but if you are planning to only base yourself in baku you will not find any problems in finding veg food because there is an abundance of Indian and Pakistani restaurants here so so many i don't think i've seen this these many indian and pakistani restaurants in a capital city in, in the neighboring countries as much as baku has so you will not face any problem with that but if once you step out gabala is still fine you'll still find one or two indian restaurants there but once you step to other parts of azerbaijan consider no veg option at all veg you're going to probably end up eating mushrooms and eggplant for all your trip and if you're not a fan of them uh sorry then <laughs> better carry some pre-packed ready to eat meals and stuff with yourself if you are planning to go out of baku and like find veg food you know got to find that of course those who love meat this is a great place this is heaven so many kebabs my god you will be blown away the doner kebabs the adana kebab the lula kebab so many kebabs kebabs everywhere it's really amazing if you are into that stuff you will love it uh, you will easily find lamb chicken even beef for that matter um halal uh, for whom halal is very important you will find halal food here quite easily as well okay visa is something i should have mentioned at the right at the beginning of this video but sorry uh, it has been pushed to the end whether you are an indian living in india or you are a uae resident you still need to apply for e visa now people who are uae residents do not necessarily mandatory have to apply for e visa you have visa on arrival as well but i strongly recommend rather than standing in a queue and wasting your time you can quickly be out of the airport just so if you apply for e visa now there are two kinds of e visas one you can get it in like three working days but there is also another option which takes 3 hours so the one that 
takes three days costs about $25 and the one that takes three hours costs about $60. If you come to Baku and you take it at the airport, it costs $30. Last thing, this is important to so many of us, I know that, and that is shut off. <laughs> yes, this country has hand shower in the toilets. <laughs> everywhere in all the places we visited and all the stays we stayed at there's shataf everywhere there's a hand shower everywhere so be rest assured you're gonna find that here all right and uh, maybe there might be like one or two places where you might not but that's so rare so rare like all the cafes and all the re restrooms in the cafes also have hand showers okay so i think that was everything that those were 10 points and this vlog went through very fast i had to power through it because i don't want to bore you and this is a 2.0 version of what i created like five years ago so not much has actually changed over over span of five years to be honest um but yeah, if you're planning to visit Azerbaijan in 2024, here's everything that you need to know before you plan your visit. If you have any questions, drop me in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, let me know. If you have anything that you want to add to it, let me know that too. All right. I hope you like this vlog. If you did, you know what to do. Give me a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, take care. Bye guys. Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Let's go for it. I know you're not straight. Wait, maybe that will help. I don't know. Shush. Too much noise. <laughs> okay, next thing. Let's see. Okay, how many? Oh, oh. Now we are moving to our last, oh no, second last, okay.